Welcome back, Senior One. We are going to talk about create and process a sound file. When we talk about creating a process sound file, this is your six folder about your project. Of course, you will need a sound file for the national anthem or the national piece for each country you will choose in your electronic atlas program. Uh, I'm going to give you first a hint about the extension of sounds. Uh, what is the most commonly used extension of sound? And what is the most easiest app you could use for recording a voice or editing or adding an effects in your sound? Of course, you already studied this one before of course an audacity program is an open source application you can use it to create and process and edit or add any effect in your sounds uh, one of the famous extensions you will commonly use when you deal with sound of course the dot wave extension of course the dot m3 extension and of course the dot wma extension this is the famous or the most commonly used sound extension you will find on the internet or by downloading it from any websites when we talk about the wave extension or wave from form audio a wave extension actually is a high quality ex audio one of the highest quality you will ever deal with of course is this one the wave um, has a high quality but it's bigger in size than the mb3 of course and it runs in all the operating system. You can run it in all the operating system. And of course, it's not commonly used. Why it's not commonly used? Because of this reason. It has a larger size than the MB3. That's why you will not common use in website. When we deal the MP3, actually it's a less than the wave, so it's a medium quality, but it's also support every the operating system. All the operating system supports the MP3 types, of course. So let's take it in points. Again, the wave has a high quality, of course. That's for sure. It's not common use in websites and of course it run in all sorry so the OS in case if you are dealing with the MB3 it's a medium it's a less or medium quality than a wave and it's common use in website and it's run in all the operating system but when you deal with a WMA a WMA is higher quality than MB3 but it is less in mangling of course it's less in mangling and it's less than the W the wave sorry extension in quality it's higher than mb3 but less than wave 
WMA stands for Windows Media Audio. Okay. So again, WMA higher, of course, high quality than M3, but less in mangling. Don't forget this one. Most of the operating system run this one most not all the operating system you have some operating system will not work in it such as android operating system or the ios or the mac it could run on linux or especially run on windows operating system so most of the operating system run this type of extension and it's not common use in website it's special for some of the operating system or some of the app you could record it using your windows operating system so let's go this is of course just a comparison between the three and you will find also some of the important part the usage where do you use this types where do you get these types the wave extension we use it of course in old mobiles if you have an older mobile you will find the wave extension is also commonly used in these devices the mb3 you could find the usage in a PC or a laptop or of course smart devices and the WMA you could use it on your computer it doesn't matter if you are using of course a PC or a laptop but it will not work in your smart devices, of course, and it will not also work in your old mobiles. So this is the usage of those extensions. So let's go to the practical part. How to process and edit on sounds. So we will open our interface, our Audacity, of course. If you look at this interface, this interface is very friendly one. You could use it so easy. You have all the menus here. You can add an effects from here. You can add an edit this or you can insert a new one, a new sound file, open an already saved sound file, you can export, you can import can do a lot of things this menu you could use it this one for recording a file a sound sorry this one for ending to get to the end of the sound this one to start from the beginning this one to stop recording this one to play of course this one to pause your sound so we're going to see something we are not going to insert a sound file we'll do a lot of different one we'll start recording our sound i will record my sound while i'm talking to you in this video you will see the waves are going up or going down this means i'm recording something so i will stop my recording now let's try to play our sound record my sound while i'm talking to you in this video you will see the waves are going up. Yes, as you see, I already recorded a sound inside this program. I could add effect from the effect menu. Let's start someone to reverse our sound. Yes, we have to select this part. And let's reverse it. So I'm going to talk in reverse. Yes, let's play it. Yes, 
We're talking backward right now. Yes, I'm talking backward. I add a certain effect. You could find many effects in this one. You could fade out, fade in. You could enhance the echo. You could repair the sound if you have, you have a noise in the background. Let's say, for example, you're recording something and someone entered a voice, entered a new background sound, so you could repair the sound. This effect menu is very important. This program is very friendly. You can, you could, of course, cut a part of the sound if you don't want it. If it's too much, you could come select the part and from the edit, you could delete this part and let's play it. Yes, I cut already a part of this sound. This program is very important. This program, you will use it to record maybe the national anthem or to enhance on the sound of the national anthem by using some of the effects from the effect menu. And after you're done, this is your sex folder called an anthem. Sex folder for your project, you have seven actually, but this is number six in your project. After you finish the editing, of course, in this sound, you could export the file. You could export the file using any of the extension we already talked about, but we could export it as an MP3. It's better for us, better use actually in VB.net and Visual Basic. The most supported sound file is an MP3. You could support the file, you could export it could run it, let's say, for example, this is the Egypt National Anthem. So we will save the file in our project. Sorry, I'm sorry. So once this is done, it's okay. You could find your sound file already inserted and insert it, of course, in your seven folder and it's called an anthem. This is your first, let's say, for example, of course, somewhere we are going to give you just a small example. This is your first anthem of the first country in your project of course if you have many countries you have to edit in each sound and place it inside this folder and you will have a seven folder as i told you don't forget this in the first term we just preparing and designing our data um, Numeric data, text data, an image data, a sound, video, doesn't matter. We are just preparing for our project to write the code in the second term, of course. And don't forget to study hard. Don't forget if you have any question, just ask. This is all you need to know about the Audacity. You could download it from this link, of course. I already place it in your booklet. And this is a step how you record step by step and how to export the file, of course, to create your six folder for your project. Thank you, of course, for listening to me. And if you have any question, don't hesitate and feel free to ask at any time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.